1378 days. The red lights are on. They're racing. Red Publisher jumped away brilliantly, and Mad Brad also commenced well. And Wrinkley's gathering that customary early speed, burning across, and he's going to work straight to the top through the first couple of hundred. Gunner goes strode up there boldly, though. He got fired up, and he sits outside of Wrinkley. Behind them, Candlelight Star, more prominent as well. Then get over it, being followed by Mad Brad getting back. Then Delicate Miss, followed by at the head of the others is River Dance. In love with Paris, second from last and then came our finest moment. Wrinkley had held the front by the 650. Three quarters clear from Gunner Go. Candlelight Star behind them. Third, three deep as well from Red Publisher. Get over it next on the rails. Mad Brad saved up behind them. Then Delicate Miss. River Dance further back. In love with Paris and our finest moment on the point of the home corner and straightening up the leader is Wrinkley. Booted two and a half in front of Gunner Go. Candlelight Star, Red Publisher. A rails run for Get Over It. Wrinkley is the leader at the 200. Still by to get over it. He's persisting with the rails run. Gonna go battling it. Here comes Mad Brad down the outside. Wrinkley's in front. Mad Brad trying hard. Wrinkley, Mad Brad, they split it together. Mad Brad or Wrinkley, tight go. Wrinkley or Mad Brad, who got the dive? Was it Mad Brad? Is the drought over? We'll find out shortly. Behind them for third as well. It is very, very tight between get over it. Delicate Miss Gonna go in love with Paris. Riverdance didn't come on red publisher candlelight star drop right out with our finest moment the drought has broken mad brad you'll find will get the verdict taylor stone and has and i'm not going to go the crow but i would suggest here that he'll get the verdict mad brad and has ended a 1,378 day space since his last win. And what a day to do it. This would be the best birthday gift that Ben Pierce has ever received. A double for the stable, continues their form significantly. Gee, at our finest moment, I've got further back in the field there in the photo for third, but it'll probably grab third. There was a blanket of horses, it pulled up quickly. So don't tear up your ticket if you're on our finest moment because it's the one out very wide, but in the run-on, we've got it much further back in that blanket of horses. Mad Brad gets it 11. Number 11. Number 11, Mad Brad, the winner by Zensov Street, an eight-year-old from Belgrave Square for Ben Pierce, BP Jones, trained by Dan and Ben Pierce, ridden by Taylor Stone. Number two, Wrinkley. Second by Saxon from Kylie Nadine. Kate Whitten, Neville Parnham, and our finest moment has run third. Number three, wide out by Dana Singer from Precious Moment, Raquel Williams and Emma Stent. 11 2 3, and now they're trying to sort out a fourth placing as well. The, the final event today, the Tab Touch, better your bet handicap. One Mulga, two Rising, C18, Vignetto, the scratchings, but let's not uh, delay it any longer. We'll get straight down to Brett, and she's in the yard at the moment, uh, down here with. Uh, Dan Pierce and Danelle Pierce as well. And, and what a day it is for the stable to see this horse get his head down on the line and finally end that incredible drought since he last tasted success. I tell you what, Darren, it is like group one scenes down here. I've uh, never quite seen a response like this. Everyone was screaming this home. He's become a little bit of a cult hero, and I know he means a lot to the Pierce Yard. Dan, particularly to your brother, Ben, look down the barrel and tell him happy birthday, brother, because he will be over the moon right now. Yeah, it was a good day, good birthday present, great result. Um, but he's, uh, he's, he's a favourite of the stables, and he's been around for a long time. He's part of the furniture. So, um, so look, it's a uh, yeah, great result to get him back in the winner's circle. And we say it's been so long since he's won a race, but he's never far away. The amount of thirds he's picked up this campaign in particular is extraordinary. You'd love to own him. <laughs> yeah, look, yeah, um, Taylor's, Taylor rides him great. Um, he's been consistent and, uh, yeah, look, we finally got him sound and, uh, and well. And, uh, yeah, and I think that residual fitness from, uh, from the continuous racing, whereas uh, in the past he's had issues and, uh, and uh, we've had to pull up on the preparation. How much has he loved at home? The staff are just over the moon down here at the moment. Yeah, all the yeah, uh, all the girls love him, and uh, and yeah, like I say, he's been around for a while. So uh, so yeah, he's uh, he's um, he's uh, one of our favourites, and uh, yeah, hopefully he can keep going. Well, congratulations on the win. Thank you.
Dan Pierce there and the Pierce team it just we mention it over and over again but they are in sensational form and when they're able to get mad Brad to win after the drought that he's been in and Taylor you must be just ecstatic as well because you've been a big part of this horse's campaign constantly running third but today you've got the job done yeah it was great to get the win on him today we had I think had four thirds or something beforehand in a row and you know, he had to scratch last week because he pulled up a bit sore, but I was just happy that I could get the win today for Den Ben. Ben's birthday as well, so he is going to be over the moon. As you came into the corner and you look ahead and the finish post is there, did you think you were going to make it? Yeah, no, he felt like the winner on the turn. Uh, Pikey was stuck three wide and I thought, beautiful, I could just pop off and he can cut me into the race. And as soon as he got into the open run, I knew he was home and I think he knew he was home as well. And um, no, it was good to see him fight back and uh, get one over the line. Uh, fantastic victory here. Congratulations, Taylor. Thanks, Brittany. Taylor Stone there, partnering with the Pierce.